many Magic the Gathering players backed the professor on Kickstart. I am one of them. Here is the Academic 266 Plus XL from Tolarian Community College. It is so big I can't even fit it on camera. I actually had to zoom out to even get it on here just for size comparison. This is a 16 inch MacBook Pro um, that I've just got sitting here. And this is a regular size play mat. This thing is actually longer, a little bit longer than a 16 inch MacBook Pro. <laughs> if you have one or if you've seen one, you know, just kind of for size comparison. It takes up almost this entire play mat. This thing is huge, huge. Okay. All right, let me get this out of the way. So here is a look at the packaging. I always like to show off the packaging in my unboxing videos. There's the back. Feel free to stop on any of that if you want to. And it has this nice little like fantasy background, which is cool. And uh, to see it on, on the outside and everything, I like that. After a successful journey, and then we can see the Game Genic logo on the side there. There is always a new adventure. So this was um this was the the basically the double size. Um, you had a couple options with this Kickstarter, this wildly successful Kickstarter. Um, he made like a couple hundred dollars short of like four million dollars, and I think technically he could have made more than that if uh, other people added on to it. Did I get every? Is that the only piece of tape I need to undo? Okay, let's see. Feels like there should be another piece of tape. Oh yes, right here. It's cleverly disguised. There we go. But the uh, the 133 XL was the main deck box. Yep, yep, this is it. Okay, it opens this way. Ah, surprise piece of tape on the other side. All right, well, here's my first adventure. How many pieces of tape <laughs> are going to be on here? Come on, little sin popper, you can do it. Come on. Oh no, I don't want to wreck the box. I'm going to be very careful with this because this is such a nice box. There we go, there we go. And the last little bit, got it. Okay, that was a really hard piece. Worth it. Okay, I'm going to have to open this sideways. Uh, but yeah, this one was the larger of the two that you could get. Um, oh, yeah. start your own journey on the inside flap there. And then this is really cool. I can't show it like this way because I have my camera stand back here. It's just gonna bump into it, but you can kind of see there's the glossy. Yeah, let's just hit my camera with the flap. It's that big. Ooh, this is embossed. Oh, this feels so good. There's the logo. This is, um, I just love the like fantasy map vibe that you get here. And I'm assuming that is the uh, Tolarian Community College. Could be. I don't know. It's a fun idea though. Oh man, and it continues on the inside here too. Like great packaging all around. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Yeah. All right. Ah, let me get all my stuff out of the way. Oh my goodness, this is huge. Okay, we're just gonna set that aside for a second. Wow. All right, pick me up. Your next adventure begins. You've got the Tolarian Community College logo on the back there. Your achievement rewards. Flip that over so you can see it. There we go, your achievement rewards. And then you've got the little bonus package of tokens and whatnot that you got from the campaign. So that's nice. Well, this is removable too. Okay, cool. I don't think there's anything else to really see there. Game Genic logo on the back there. And then this all folds up again. That's a really nice box actually. Good packaging. Okay, so let's get to these first and then we'll get to the actual box itself. This was part of the stretch goal add-ons that we got. We got so many stretch goals, you had to make more stretch goals. Uh, so this is the, the coolest token, I think, out of all of them. Um, because it shows, it says, thank you for your support. And then it has his signature on there. It's not like his actual signature, it's printed on, of course. But that's really nice. And it has your backer number. Um, that's kind of interesting though. I'm a little bit surprised because according to Kickstarter, my backer number is like 10,000 something. I was like right over the first 10,000, which I thought I was like trying to make it in the first 10,000, but that's okay. Um, it was just going fast on that first day, but it says 11,000. I wonder why there's a discrepancy there. Not a huge deal. Just kind of an oddity. Curious. 
maybe it has something to do with backer kit because you fill out the survey after maybe it was like the 11,000 person to fill out the survey or something. I don't know. Who knows? There's the back of that token. It's kind of a really thin, it's like thinner plastic. Well, it's about the same as a magic card. Maybe, maybe a little bit thinner. It doesn't have that rigidity that a magic card does, but pretty cool still. And then you've got these double sided tokens, which are, um, writable. They are dry erase, um, erasable tokens. So you've got like, you know, you can do day night, you can do, you know, double faced cards, like the modal double faced cards, um, any kind of flip card that has two sides, you could write it there, or you can just write, you know, you can use it kind of almost like an infinite token and just put whatever token you need on there because it is dry erase. So that's really cool. And you can see just barely hinted at there. There's like a very faded Tolarian Community College logo on the, under there. I don't know how well that's showing up on camera. Yeah, yeah, you can kind of see it. Pretty neat. And then it does have a little eraser symbol right here. So Gamegenic makes these um, as well. It's a great partnership with Gamegenic. That's so cool. Merfolk tokens. Little purple backing on here. I think the professor's trying to get everybody to build a Merfolk deck by including this. We have one, two, three, four, five, five of those. They're all the same on the back. And then foil treasure tokens. So the, we got treasure tokens and then another stretch goal unlocked like foil version. So that was really cool. Um, and it's got a lot of cool art and detail on here. So I can show it a little bit more closely. Yeah, you can see kind of in the professor's study, if you will. Token artifact treasure, tap, sack this treasure to add one colored mana of your choice, just like any good treasure. And then the back of these are black. So the black ones on the back there, purple on the back there. That's like a different purple black kind of ish, and this is like a blue. So each one's got a little bit of a different color on the back, but all the same types of tokens are the same. And then this is another one of the, this is not an erasable one, is it? No, this is not an erasable one. Okay, take note if you got these. This one, you can definitely feel it. This is glossy. You feel there's a finish on it for like writing and erasing. This one is not erasable and there is no eraser symbol in the bottom right corner. So that's the difference between those two. So make sure you use the right one. You don't want to be writing something on here because if you do, it's always going to be that. I mean, you might, that's fine. But this one is the erasable one. So the first one that comes in the package, one with that eraser logo on it. Good to know. And I think the backings are the same. Yeah, pretty much. So yeah, the lighting's kind of dark. How's that, a little better, maybe? Yeah, so there we go. There's all of our tokens. All right, very cool. I'll set those aside for now, and let's look at the box. Oh man, here it is. Again, this thing is huge. So the 133 XL is, is advertised. The 133 is that it's supposed to hold, this is raised up too. This is really nice, really good quality. This feels sturdy and durable. Um, it's advertised to hold 133 um, double sleeved cards specifically. And this is the 266, which is, of course, rated to hold 266 double-sleeved cards. I did ask the, um, I didn't see this question answered anywhere, so I asked in the campaign, like, a question, and then it was answered by someone from the professor's Kickstarter team. I asked, so for double-sleeved, but how about, how many cards is it supposed to be rated for to hold for single-sleeved? Uh, like, can you hold, in a 133 XL, can you hold, instead of 133 double-sleeved, can you hold... 200 single sleeved and they said yes it should hold of course it can vary and so it wasn't like a 100 percent, but like yeah it should definitely hold like 200 cards my question was like can it hold two commander decks because this one being the 266 could theoretically hold four commander decks then so that was part of the selling point oh man that's cool got that shiny logo and this does fully remove it's velvety on the inside and that's shiny, that is so nice. And these are really, really strong magnets. And the magnets have like the velvet on top of them too. Stitching all around, that is fancy. That is really, really cool. And then we've got the logo, also shiny right here. Complimentary silica gel packs. <laughs> Could use those as tokens or not. And then you have these dividers. So these are the acrylic dividers that come in here. There's these little like slots right here so you can put oh there's another one <laughs> you can put um you know tokens behind here or anything else really that you want 
and I've got two because I have two sides. Um, I've seen a couple people so far starting to get these and I've only seen the 133 open up so far and it's basically from here over. So you've got your compartment with tokens and then you know, the little trays and stuff is in here and then you have this section. This is the thing that's added on for the 266. So from here over is the 266. That's the difference there. And then you can also put it right there, snap that up. And you don't have to worry about where the lid goes and losing the lid because it does magnetically snap onto the bottom there. You have little divots that fit on in either direction. It's perfectly centered to be from the top or the bottom, which is a really nice touch. Um, I will point out that you can't open up this when you have that on there, um, which I'll show you now. So this right here is a little flap that pulls down. Very nice. Again, I love the, the velvet like coloring and it just matches with the theme of his channel too, with the purple color, which is just really nice. They had other colors that you could buy, but this was my preferred one because I like the purple and purple's like my favorite color anyway. So there you go. Um, so you've got these little, oh, that's nice little opening right there um, and then so if you just want to like reach in and grab something you can or you can also slide it out that slides out really nicely too feels like it's not like gonna get stuck in there or anything and again embossed logo like everything on on that as well that's really cool little divot right there interesting and then we've got another one you can pull that one out too and the drawers are interchangeable i believe yes just confirmed. So I can switch out the drawers. They're exactly the same as far as I can tell. And then the two little magnetic clasps, I can see the little, yeah, it kind of shows up on camera there. Those two little dots, that's where the magnets are for there. And you can feel it snap on, which is really nice. Wow, that is cool. That is really cool. All right, so let's put some cards in it and see how it works. Yeah. All right, so let's see. I've got like this Ultra Pro really beat up Channel Fireball deck box. I can put it in there just fine. No issues at all. I can put it in sideways. No issues there. I can put it in like that even if I don't have the divider. So that would not work with the divider because that's where that divider stands. And you can see it goes over a little bit. So I'll put it that way. But I think if I have the divider, can I still do it? Maybe. Ooh, that's a, no, not quite. So Ultra Pro, not going to work for that. Let's try the game genic. Let's get on, on theme here and see if that one's, oh, that one's even a little bit wider. That one does not work. Yeah, same deal. So if you're gonna put a deck box in here specifically, yeah, for sure you won't be able to do it that way. Um, okay, so that's interesting. So now, yeah, what we're gonna do here is take the cards out and see how that works. I can't fit more than one. So, if I put them in like that, oh, bonus points for the purple sleeves. I totally didn't plan that. No, seriously, I didn't. <laughs> All right, so there's one deck. I'll just use this little divider here. Okay, that seems like it's gonna be a tight fit. Let me grab, oh, that's because I have tokens too. Is that really my last? I think I have a little bit more than that. I've got a little bit more than 100 right there. Let me get another one. Okay, here's another commander deck. And there should be a little bit over 100 in here as well. Let's see if I can fit this in without those dividers. How is this gonna feel? Oh, actually, okay, even with more than, so I have more than 100 cards in there and that actually fits. That fits really well didn't feel like I was forcing it or anything either. It's a little tight. I don't feel like I could get that much more in, but that is two full Commander decks plus tokens. Uh, so it's like 200 and some odd cards that's in there. That's that's nice. That's really cool. Okay, and then if I put that divider in, also works there. Whoa. Oh, I have a card right in the way there. Okay, so it's a little tight. I don't know if you can see that, but... The card's sticking on the side there, so I want to make sure that that doesn't happen. And, okay, so if that's like that, yeah, that should be good. Okay, and then put that down. Perfect. 
that fits perfectly. And I can still fit other tokens and anything else that I want along the side there. I don't think that it would work if you put it this way. We'll have to find out. We can try it from the other side and see. Let me let me get a couple more decks and then we'll try that. All right, so I've got a couple more decks here. Let's try this out and see. Okay, so I don't think we can do it this way because no, there's not physically enough space. I can't actually put another card in there. Yeah, no, that does not work. I can show you that. That doesn't work. So yeah, it's gotta be sideways, but just for demonstration purposes, to prove it, put in two more commander decks. These ones don't have tokens or maybe just one or two. So those are straight up just, I think just about almost 200 cards. And there's a lot of give, give room right there. Um, if I can see it there, a lot of room there. Like I can stick a whole finger down that part and still have plenty of room or I could put a divider in between the two decks or whatever. So there's four decks already right in there, which is just awesome. Even if I don't have any tokens or anything, I think it still makes sense to put the divider in because I feel like it's gonna keep your cards in place better because they can only move so far from that point. Um, let me see, if I put tokens sideways, I wondered about this. How easy is it to get them out? Eh, kinda hard. Okay, so that is one point to consider. Um, I can show you this way. This isn't that heavy with four decks in here. The tokens are actually a little bit below the edge here. So they are going to be, you can't just like pick them up like this and grab them out easily. You'll have to probably remove the decks and the dividers or like hold your hand over this and pull it out or tip it upside down or something. It's not gonna be the easiest thing in the world to get them out if you do put them sideways. So you put that like that and actually, oh, you know what? Before we do, I have to do the shake test for the, the XL because he did it for the 133, I have to do it for the 266 XL, right? professor did it then I will I will trust him and I will do it myself um, I, I've heard that you can also fit a fifth commander deck in here let me let me grab one more yeah I've got my Zada the heater and grinder deck which is like my favorite deck to play so I'm going to do that grab all the cards here um, basically just like piecemeal in the little compartments um, so I don't know how many how many can I fit here got all the secret lair mountain goblin mountains shout out to Ralph Horsley he has a great YouTube channel check him out um, he does all the art for the goblin mountains and a lot of other famous goblins oh yeah plenty of room there oh this is gonna be easy I 100% can do this let's just stop right there that's I don't know roughly a third more than a third of my deck that's like yeah that's more than a third of my deck I'll put that in the bottom oh interesting this bottom one doesn't come out quite as much because there is a little bit of a lip right here so you almost have to like tilt it up a little bit to bend that down to get it out without any resistance but minimal resistance I actually just fit 50 and 50 in here oh okay cool I don't even need to worry about it that was okay that was about half of my deck <laughs> that wasn't even a third perfect look at that I just fit another commander deck five so I could fit 150 here maybe I could fit some there and there if I wanted to get crazy you could probably fit six I don't know for sure if you really want me to do it leave a like on the video definitely subscribe too if you haven't already and tell me that you want me to do six and I'll try I'll make a follow-up video if I get enough comments about it and then I will I will do it but I gotta have a lot of comments so you guys have to have to help me out Okay, and then dice in the top here. Let's just put some dice in. Will this fit the oversized dice? Ooh, not quite, not quite. So these are a little bit tall, if you can see. Sideways, I gotta get that straight on. It does stick up a little bit. That's kind of straight on. So those are the oversized dice that come in the bundles. Is it the same for here? No, oh, so this top, this top one is shallower. Okay, that's a good point. I didn't realize that. Oh yeah, that's the same number of cards and they don't quite fit in that one. Of course, the velvety stickiness. Be careful with your cards because they kind of stick. Oh my goodness, I don't want to wreck my cards. <laughs> 
All right, there we go. Most of my Zada cards are not that expensive because it's a bunch of cheap spells that let you do fun stuff with Zada. Okay, so I could totally fit the, the oversized dice here. You can see they fit very well in that bottom one. So if you did want to use that compartment for those dice, you can. Um, but definitely the regular spin downs that you get like in the in the, the bundles and whatnot and your pre-release kits and all of those, those will fit. Uh, let's just grab a ton of them here. Those are oversized. Let's see. How many can I fit? I have more somewhere else, but oh yeah, that's a... Is that, yeah, that's pretty good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So 16 easily, and one of them pops up a little bit. 16 to 17. I think that's 17. That'll fit. Is that flush with the top? Maybe. Maybe. We'll see if it closes. Yeah, it closes. 17. <laughs> Wait, what did I say? One, two, three, four, five, six. 17, yep. Okay. Here's the moment of truth. 17 dice and five commander decks. Upside down, holding it like this. Flipping it in the air. This way, that way. Not, not touching the lid or anything. Okay, let's see what we got. <sighs> Perfect. That's amazing. Really cool. Everything's intact in here and everything. Yeah, highly recommend uh, if this ever goes up on. I think at some point, some of these might go up for uh, sale on his website. Some of these did come out a little bit. You can see, like, just kind of started to come out there. But you can just slide them down in a little bit easily. Tokens are fine. Nothing really went crazy. So yeah, highly recommend it if you ever get a chance to purchase it if it goes live on his website. It's a very solid box. Very well designed. Um, thank you. Thank you, the professor, <laughs> for doing this because it's really cool. Yeah, highly recommend it. Thank you for checking out the video. We'll see you in the next one.